would President Trump ban partial birth abortion? Well, look, I'm, I'm very pro-choice. You would not ban it? No. Or ban partial birth abortion? No, I would, I would, I am, I am pro-choice in every respect and as far as it goes. This is the video Trump really doesn't want Republicans to see. I just believe in choice. And again, it may be a little bit of a New York background because there is some different attitude in different parts of the country. And, you know, I was raised in New York and grew up and work and everything else in New York City. But I am strongly for choice. You would not ban it? No. Or ban partial birth abortion? No, I would, I would, I am... I am pro-choice in every respect and as far as it goes. This happened in 1999 and he was most certainly not taken out of context. And here he is on the Howard Stern Show in 2003, four years later, saying he wanted to abort his fourth kid. That happened. I'm, 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 I'm so happy we're about to have a child. I said, uh, excuse me? I didn't know about this. <laughs> right. But you know, at the time it was like, excuse me, what happened? And then I said, well, what are we going to do about this? She said, oh, are you serious? Mm. This is the most beautiful day of our lives. I said, oh, great. <laughs> that kid was Tiffany. And if you're saying maybe he's just kidding. Is he? Is he against abortion? I mean, at the time, the kids he didn't abort looked like this. I'm kidding. This is the Photoshop version. The real version's much the same. It's the same. They do not look good in either. And this is another real image. And so is this. All that money they couldn't just bypass puberty? Literally the only obstacle they ever faced was his genetics. He wanted Tiffany aborted. You know it. And it wasn't until Trump ran for president that he changed his entire stance on the issue. Now, you might be thinking, how in the hell does the right wing not know about this clip? Well, the answer is, they do. Hell, here's an ad from a pro Ted Cruz super PAC back in 2016 playing this exact clip. Donald Trump is not a conservative because he's extreme on abortion. I am pro-choice in every respect. I am pro-choice in every respect. I am pro-choice in every respect. For partial birth abortion, not a conservative. Keep the promise one is responsible for the content of this advertising. And Ted Cruz wasn't the only one. Here's a Jeb Bush ad. Oh God, remember him? I lived in New York City and Manhattan all my life, okay? So, you know, my views are a little bit different than if I lived in Iowa. Partial birth abortion. I'm very pro-choice. Who would you like representing the United States in a deal with Iran, with this regime there? Well, I think Hillary would do a good job. Uh, Hillary Clinton, I think, is a terrific woman. I mean, I'm a little biased because I've known her for years. But you'd be shocked if I said that in many cases I probably identify more as a Democrat. So they did know about it. Even Jeb. Poor Jeb. Please clap. So what's the lesson here? Back in the day when it was all the same to him and he wasn't really active in politics, he just said what he believed, which was that he was pro-choice. Cause you should be. But then he saw an opportunity where he could grift the hell out of a bunch of evangelicals on the right. And he did. He has raised more money than the Democrats and the Republicans combined. But when he was in power, did he pass any legislation to make their lives any better? No, he just filled court vacancies with whatever McConnell told him to do, which any Republican would have done. And more importantly, when he had the opportunity to give you universal health care. And to make a more fair tax code, did he do it? Nope. He just passed tax cuts for the rich. And that is his only legislative accomplishment as president of the United States. That and deregulating a bunch of businesses, which made you sicker and more likely to need health care that you can't afford. Cool job. God, those boys. Again, so this is the real one and this is the fake. Which is the real one? It's like Charlie Kirk and his head size. You never know when it's photoshopped. Whew. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm Brett. Follow me. Be my friend. Bye.